Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, around the 9th, but you know the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for an energy today? What do we have for a message today? Queen of Swords. So, Queen of Swords is a very intense energy, very um, factual to the point. She has, she's some sort of information, some sort of truth. She knows the truth. Waiting. She, she's waiting. She's waiting for some sort of communication by the looks of things, by the looks on this card. It's like, hmm. She's ready to say something. Biting her tongue, perhaps. You know, she may be ready to defend herself. She looks pretty defensive. But the Queen of Swords is very, um, well... You know, it's like she's holding on. She's holding back. She is. She's like waiting. She may be. She may know something. You see how she's holding like her chest or something. So it's like she's she's holding on. She's holding something. She's waiting. She's she may see something or she may know something that is quite a surprise. I don't know. It feels like it's oh my god that kind of thing. Butterflies. Messages are coming. A mess. Messages are coming. She's waiting, so the messages are going to be coming. May have to move fast, may have to think fast, may have to change your direction fast, something like that. Um, hmm. She can be hard to deal with. She can be hard to deal with because she doesn't back down. Um... She's a good communicator. Three of Swords. Now leaving the past hurts behind. Now she's a thinker. Hmm. So she's obviously thinking about something or she sees something by the by her reaction. Something is going on. Three of Swords uh, reversed is on the path to recovery, healing. She could be thankful. She could be thankful for something thankful for the messages. I don't know. This is healing on the path to recovery. Letting something go. Ooh, the Empress. So the Empress is abundant. She's beautiful. She's glowing. She has multiple options. She delivers. She has it all. She seems very magical. It looks like she has a crystal ball in her hand, so she's very spiritual. So we have an individual here that is, you know, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful new beginning, okay? It's a beautiful new beginning because she gives birth to a new life. So this is a beautiful new beginning here. Hangman reverse. So somebody may have become enlightened. There's a level of stubbornness here. Somebody that was very, very stubborn. But this is like coming out of that stalemate. Somebody was, was in it stalling or procrastinating or something. Maybe been causing somebody some pain. Because this but this is uh, you know, the healing from the pain. So somebody may, this is like grateful, feels like she's grateful or something. I don't know what is going on, but this hangman reverse is coming out of stagnation. Somebody has become enlightened. This is the, this is somebody who is very valuable. This is the empress is somebody that is, you know, she is, uh, she knows her value. She's has a lot of life experience. Um, she's domestic. She's 
caring, she's kind, she's generous, she's abundant, she's loving, she's nurturing. So we have this tender lover right here. This damn phone it really pisses me off. I'm trying to shut it off. Just hold on. Um, hmm. The hangman reverse. Now this is coming out, uh, being enlightened. Somebody has become enlightened. Time of isolation has has basically told somebody something about this empress this is this is like a wife or you know um i mean the empress is she has it all she has it all she does so somebody has become enlightened about this feminine energy Ah, King of Cups reverse. So this is some. This is emotionally unavailable, unable to master emotions. May not have good intentions, but this is a different perspective. So this is coming up with another. Somebody has gained a new perspective about this feminine, but this King of Cups in reverse is somebody that is cold. This person is cold, and uncaring. Secretive, perhaps withdrawn, closed off, non-communicative, and can't doesn't communicate, isn't communicating well. Very stubborn. So we have a stubborn energy here. You know, she's beautiful. She has multiple options. She's um, abundant. I mean, you know, we all know she's ruled by Venus, which is the planet of love. So she's all about love. But this King of Cups in reverse is not. Uh, maybe he's not emotionally available. Maybe he doesn't know how to love. But this is a new perspective being gained. Somebody's been hurt. Somebody's been hurt. And perhaps the Empress turned into the Queen of Swords. You know, there, or maybe she was the Queen of Swords. This is an independent person who it feels like she's been a little distraught because of her hand. But this is healing. And this is uh, delivering something. A blessing. She's a blessing. So getting a new perspective... But reluctant to take a new approach. There's a lot of stubbornness here. We have somebody here that is very, very stubborn. Troubled. You're refusing to consider, very stubborn, refusing to, to consider any new approaches. You know, this is, this is it. But the Empress knows that she's dealing with somebody that is stubborn. Um... Wands reverse now very overwhelmed but letting go about to there's about to be a change this is a change a conscious change this is too so we have somebody here that is making a conscious change because this person is so valuable so beautiful so um, abundant in every way this is um, Letting go, letting go of some burden could be fear. This is this is a heavy weight. So we do have an individual that is very troubled over, you know, she knows her value. It's either you know, right to the point, right to the point. It's either it's either this or that with the Queen of Swords. There's no middle ground here. Um, Ten of Wands reversed. Dropping something. Dropping. Dropping it? Dropping something. What? Dropping what? Dropping weight. Dropping a burden. Dropping baggage. Letting it go. Ah, new beginning. Starting over. So we, this is a fresh start. So there's a new start coming here. There is a new beginning. So we do. We have a new beginning here. We do. We have a new beginning. After somebody has been hurt, there's been some sort of hurt, there's been some sort of pain, some sort of heartache or suffering or something over, you know, stubbornness or the need to prove a point or, I don't know, something like that. Now, the Queen of Swords is very intense. She is hard to deal with. 
She's, there's a the level of being distraught. But messages are coming. Messages are coming. And there's an opportunity to start over. There's an opportunity to start fresh. But we do have an individual that may not be very emotional. They may not communicate very well. But they're, they're coming up. They're getting a new perspective. Okay. They're starting to think differently with the hangman. They've gained a new perspective. They're wanting to let go of a burden or let go of whatever, the trouble, you know, and start over. So, so there's going to be a fresh start here. We have a new beginning here. A uh, fresh start with an individual who is so loving and so generous and so kind and just so beautiful or whatever. The Empress is the goddess of love. She is. No more fighting. Five of Wands, reverse. It may have been a conflict. It may have been a fight. It may have been a power struggle or tug of war. You know, there could have been some competition. Um, or somebody was having a hard time letting go of the competition. Or um, the need to prove themselves. Or to prove their, that they were the winner or something like that. You know, they. so this is like not, not um, competing. Letting go of the competition. Uh not wanting to fight. We're not going to fight about this. We're going to work together. We're not going to go back and forth like this. We're going to work together. We're going to do this together. We're going to we're going to win this together, that kind of thing. It's like finding a solution and cooperating. So we do have a new beginning starting over. Starting over. Somebody's going to be starting over. Uh, letting go, definitely letting go, letting go of whatever happened, the conflict, the fight, whatever. We're just going to let this go and start over. Ah, celebration, socializing, having fun. Again, uh, letting gu their guard down, opening up. Maybe, maybe um, letting somebody in. Opening the door. I feel like there's a new perspective here where somebody was guarded. They were guarded. They were holding back. They weren't letting somebody in. But now they're, they're ready. Now they're ready to socialize. They're ready to have some fun. And they're ready to let this person in. Now, this is the Five of Pentacles, kind of like begging. It looks like begging. There may have been some ghosting or abandoning. Somebody may have abandoned another person, and now they may be begging. They may be um, seeing things differently. It is, again, going, going inside. I feel like they're going in, coming in. Um, yeah, movement. Good news. This is this is taking action. And it, and I do feel like something. It's like you're gonna have to think fast. You may have to change your plans fast. It's like all of a sudden the plans change. Please come in. Uh, something like that. This is very sudden, and you're gonna have to act now. It's like if somebody takes action. Think later. Just do it. Do it now. So it feels like there's a there's a there's a surprising change in direction. Something happens very quickly. It happens very suddenly. There's a there's a very fast moving energy here. So I think things are going to happen fast, or things are going to change fast. There's a very, this is like a lusty energy as well. So there could be some. Um, you know, lust involved here. Either way, we do have a new beginning. We have somebody that is coming in fast. They're coming in very fast. They, um, they may, you know, and it's funny because they, they may have abandoned you or ghosted you because they were thinking or they were worried or they were being stubborn or something like that. And now uh, they've changed their perspective. They've changed their mind with the hangman reversed. You know, they've changed their mind. They see somebody's beauty. They see somebody's value. And boom, here they are. Boom. It's like, that's what that is. The Knight of Wands is like, wow, all of a sudden, um, you know. And this is like, almost like, uh, I want, 
you know, I'll take what you can, you know, will you help me or will you come over? Because it feels like with the Seven of Wands reverse, will you, um, this is like begging. It's, I just feel like this is begging. Anyway, we do have a new beginning here. Starting over. It's exciting. It's an exciting opportunity. Ah! For some, and it could lead to something permanent. It could lead to uh, long term. Something very long term. So this exciting new uh, opportunity that is flying in or has flown in or that is happening all of a sudden could lead to something permanent, could lead to something abundant, even more abundant, could lead to moving in, it could lead to a new home, it could lead to a new job, it could lead to something very rich, okay, this is, this is um, extreme abundance, long term, long term stability with the Ten of Pentacles, success, permanence, um, it is something that really leads to um, a lot of comfort, a comfortable, uh, long-term situation. So something is happening suddenly. Somebody has changed their mind by the looks of things and they want permanence because this is permanence. If some if if there's been some hard times financially, those are gonna those are it's gonna get better. Something is gonna change. Somebody could be getting together with somebody who is abundant, because the empress empress is very abundant. We have we have um, a, a new beginning here, starting a new journey, starting from scratch. This is exciting. It's an opportunity for something permanent. This is letting go of the burdens, letting go of whatever happened. It's like letting it go. You know, we're going to let this go. We're going to start over. So this, there could be, uh, you know, the three of cups can be a party or socializing or getting together and having fun. So I think there's some messages that are coming that somebody has been waiting for. And this is going to open up a new door. Somebody is going to be replacing their fear with faith and stepping into unknown territory. They're going to be letting go of their, their burdens, their baggage, you know, whatever, their struggles. Like they've been struggling, really, with the five one. They've been struggling. They've been going back and forth with, you know, whether they could step into this new life. But I think they're ready. I do. I feel like they're ready. They're ready to just do it. They're going to do it. They are going to do it with the Knight of Wands. That's, that's impulsive. I'm going to do it. I'm done thinking about it. I'm not going to think about it anymore. I'm doing it. So there is action that is being taken. It's very exciting. This is definitely a sexual energy as well. So um, get prepared for uh, to hear some messages from somebody that is wanting to move forward very fast. They changed their mind. Good luck.